Hello. Can you hear me? Great. Um, hi, my name is Christina, and I am a senior product manager at Unity. Um, today, I'd like to talk to you about Unity simulation for games and how, how you can use this tool to find the perfect game balance for your game. So first, we want to start by defining what we mean by simulations. Uh, well, simulations is a model that mimics uh, real life scenarios at scale. And really what this is, it's a powerful evidence-based approach to decision making. OK. So now that we have a common understanding of what simulations is, let's talk about why we need simulation for games. Um, well, simulations really lets you test your game balance at scale. And testing is important because you, know, you want to find those game flaws before you launch so that you're not experimenting on your users. And game balance, as you all know, is crucial for creating a positive experience for your players. And so this keeps them happy and engaged. Well, it turns out that game balancing is actually kind of hard. <laughs> Why is it so hard? There's three main reasons. One is that games are very complex and unique. So there really isn't like a one-size-fits-all solution. Second is that uh, testing can be expensive. So a uh, game, game player can cost up to $20 an hour. And this isn't even accounting for the opportunity cost of your designers and developers like tediously tweaking parameters. And third, um, testing is really, due, is really subject to the subjective experience of your players. And so a lot of the data points that you're gathering are not going to be very concrete. OK, so game testing is kind of challenging, right? Well, what are the, some current solutions out there, and how are they flawed? Well, one popular solution is soft launching. But soft launching is flawed because of, well, three main reasons. One is that um, uh, it really requires you to uh, plan for a separate release of your hard launch ahead of your hard launch, which is just another headache to deal with. A second is that you're really risking your publicity beat during your actual launch by having a, like a mini launch ahead of it. And then third is that you risk overfitting your game to those players that you're testing with. Uh, and they might not be representative of your players uh, on the whole when you actually do want to launch. Another popular solution is human testing. Um, and like the aforementioned problems that we talked about, they can, this can be expensive and, uh, uh, and it, it doesn't, doesn't really scale very well. Because uh, it takes many hours for a contractor to get good at a game, and then you have to do a playtest every time you release a new game. And so this cost just starts to add up, and you see that this doesn't really, it just doesn't really scale. A third popular solution is automated tests, or aut automated scripts. Um, and while this is great for UI or QA testing, it's not really robust enough for game balancing, and it doesn't really solve that problem. So this is where we come in, uh, Unity Simulation for Games. And what this is, it's a cloud-based service that helps you test your game balance at scale. And because you're testing at scale, it can really replace those oversimplified and ine inefficient spreadsheet models that you have. And instead, you can run thousands of permutations of settings for your game at the tips of your fingers. And so this can really help you make data-driven decisions much faster. So Unity Simulation for Games is a tool that helps you spend less time testing and balancing the game and much more time creating new in-game experiences for your players. OK, let's jump into a little bit of a case study. So we've been working with our friends at Illogica um, on their new uh, upcoming game, Rogue Runners, or Rogue Racers. And here's a little clip, if it'll play, um, of the game itself. So you can see that it's sort of like Temple Run meets Mario Kart. Um, and there's multiple different you know, day and night scenarios and different locations. So the question that uh, uh, Illogica wanted to answer is, how can we find the perfect game balance for our game? Um, and more specifically, there's three questions that they wanted to answer that are both tough to answer and also especially tough under tight timelines. One is, if you have a skilled player playing against an unskilled player, um, what is the gap in finishing time between those two? And is the skilled player just um, you know, beating, by the uns beating the unskilled player by too much of a margin? A second question is, um, are there uh, power-ups or card decks that are creating too big of an advantage for uh, a player versus another? And so you can see that these are really important questions to answer to get the game balance right, because you want both skilled and unskilled players to have a good experience. But tuning parameters for this is actually really meticulous and takes a lot of work. So more specifically, we distilled this problem down to a more quantifiable uh, question. 
Uh, specifically, uh, does the skilled player finish less than five seconds ahead of an unskilled player? And so if the skilled player pulls ahead by too much, there's actually a, a, a catch-up mechanism implemented in the game that will give the, a speed boost to the losing player. So there's three parameters that govern this mechanism. One is uh, the speed multiplier, two is the boost duration, and three is the frequency of the boost or the refill rate. And so using a combination of these three parameters, we were able to find, we're, we wanted to optimize like, which one would lead to the best game experience. And so this was done using Unity Simulation for Games. This is an illustration of just the scale of this endeavor. Um, each of these uh, videos is a uh, represents a simulation that we had of the game. So more specifically, uh, we, what we did here is perform a grid search. So for each of these three parameters, uh, for each of these different combinations, we ran hundreds of simulations uh, represented here by these arrows uh, in order to find the best one. Um, and just to quantify this or put this into more numerical terms, we had three parameters running 150 combinations, which is the equivalent of 25,000 simulations. And to put this into real world terms, this is about 1,125 human play hours, all done at the tips of our fingers. So this is pretty impressive, if I might say so myself. <laughs> Um, so as a result of this, uh, Illogical was actually surprised to find that their original parameters um, were leading to about a two-second average finish time, which is too competitive. Or the skilled player basically doesn't feel like it's competitive enough, and the unskilled player is just not, like, it's just not really competitive for them either, right? Um, and then on the maximum side, we actually found that there was a gap of 10 seconds. So this is a pretty big spread. And with this, through simulations, we were able to find the um, combination of parameters that actually led to this more optimal five-second finish time that we had talked about earlier. And so using Unity Simulation for Games, Illogico was able to find the perfect game balance for their game to, uh, to have more engaged and happy players. Awesome. So what's next? Well, come see us at our booth. We're at the Game AI booth over there. Um, or feel free to email us at playtesting at unity3d.com, uh, or my email address is there as well. And actually, in the front row here, we also have our friends from Illogica, or friend from Illogica, um, as well as a couple members of our uh, playtesting team. And we're happy to answer any questions. Thank you.